Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sankey84 and welcome to the final episode of Planet Base. Yeah, we've had some fun on our little adventure to Mars and, well, it didn't quite end the way we were hoping, but we had fun, we made memories and as long as we don't tell the families that they're dead, then everything's fine. But today, I just thought I didn't want to end this series on such a bad note. So I thought we would have a look at the challenges, just to see what's in store for us. Now, I'm not going to do a full playthrough of these and do the completions. I am just dipping my toe, to say, so to speak, to see what they have and how they differ from the main game. So, without further ado, let's take a look. Okay, so as we saw last week, there are two challenges available and we can access the rest of them once we complete the challenge before it. So we're going to be looking at both of them today. As I say, we're not going to do a full playthrough. It's just a little peek to see what they hold. So the first one, Mining Station Alpha. Your first assignment is to establish a fully automated mining outpost in a remote world. So we'll have a limited personnel. So we won't be getting any extra, we've got to look after them and make sure we keep them alive. And we all know how good we are at keeping our colonists alive. And we need to get 100 units of ore. Now, I don't know if that is a 100 at one time on base or just a total amount reached over time. But... As I say, that's not really what the intention of today is. So let's get into it, shall we? And see what challenge this challenge has for us. Okay, so just like in the base game, we're landing on the surface of Mars in our little shuttle pod. And yeah, we kind of know what to expect regarding weather because it's... Mars and we've already done a fair bit of time on Mars. Now we've got, let's have a look, three engineers and two botanists as well as two, five drill bots, one constructor bot and four carry bots. So that's going to take a bit of time but we're going to be okay with that. As you can see, the map is quite hilly and not as flat as the terrain we had on the main game. But with this being a mining colony, we don't really need much space. So first things first, after learning about the issues we had in the base game, we're going to need some power. So let's get them down first with a wind turbine or two and then we can get a solar panel in to just make sure we get that extra power during the day or if there's no wind and we're going to need somewhere to store it as per usual. Next we're going to need water. Now with there only being five of them we're not going to need the bigger water supply so the little one should do us for now. So we just fit that in up here and then just to make sure we're going to get a water storage again we only need a small one because there's only five of them so we won't be using up much water. Okay so now we're going to have to start building the base but just before we do I think we should recycle the colony ship just to get everything out in the open and to make sure that we get the bonus resources from it as early as possible so we don't run out. I'm just going to give this a bit of time to build up because I don't want to put the base in and then have these not built. So now they're going up we'll put the airlock in over here 
close to the hills, but not too close. And then we're going to need an airlock, not an airlock, air, air tent. And as there is only 500, we're not going to need a big one, so we can get away with a small one and save resources on that. Now, as you can see, some of these rooms have been greyed out, so we can't build them. And so we cannot make any metal or bioplastics. We can't build the med bay or the lab. Same for security and the pub. But we can trade for what we need, hopefully. And now they're built, we're gonna get in the biodome. And I know we don't need a big one, but I'm going to put it a size up because I'd rather have a bit too much food than not enough. And then, of course, I'll wait for that just to start building. And we're going to put down a landing pad as well, just so we can start getting a bit of trade coming in soon. I don't want to put the starport in because that takes 10 and I don't want to use all the metal up before we get everything done. So talking about getting anything done, let's get this canteen down so they can actually eat the food that we grow. Okay, so that's nearly built there, all the resources are up there. Oxygen is a little bit low at the moment but that'll be fine. There we go, that's the landing pad now built, so we should hopefully get some trade chips coming in soon. Okay, so while we're waiting, oh, there we go, there's our first trade chip, so let's just have a look what they have in store. Okay, so we've got some metal and some bioplastics that we could do if we really need metal, so let's just quickly grab all that. And uh, no, I'm not going to sell food, especially since we're not making any yet. And um, yeah, might as well get rid of the spares because we're not going to be here long enough for the spares to actually take effect. And then, of course, just some coins to top it up. I think that will do for starters. Right, yep, yeah, that looks all good, so we'll just accept that. And while that's getting on, let's get this biodome completed so we can get some food growing in it. And what better way to start off than some Martian potatoes? And then we'll put in some wheat as well, so we can make bread. And then, so they can have a salad, we'll put in some tomatoes and some lettuce. There we go, plenty of food for them. And now the canteen has been built, we can start putting a few bits into there. So we'll put the vending machine in for them, they only need the one. And then we'll put three tables now, so that's six chairs for them. So even if they did all suddenly decide to eat at the same time, then there's plenty of space for them. Next, let's, yeah, we do need water, you can see this, so we'll get the water fountain in quick, hopefully, and we'll give them a TV as usual. Might as well have some entertainment. Right, so that's on there, and another trade ship has landed. They're coming quite quick. But, yeah, it's only drill bots and other robots, we don't need them at this moment. So, okay, so that is now being built there. And we now can look at the next part. So, what is next? Well, we're going to need somewhere to sleep, so we might as well get a nice large cabin in because we don't need the bunk beds because we haven't got that many of them. And we can put it down with the canteen so it's all close. And then well, we're going to need something to trade, so we might as well get some mines in. So, yeah, we can mine the ore, trade that away, and then buy what we need with it and why this trade ships in it there's a bit more metal and the bioplastics and yeah might as well just get rid of a few more spares and just even this up a bit there we go one too many there we go just what we need a bit more coinage as well so why that is being built and food is being grown yeah, everything seems to be running pretty smoothly at the moment. 
Okay, you know what, actually, I think we'll get another mine in, but as we're low on metal, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll just cancel this off for a moment, just while we're waiting for more metal to come in. That way then the metal from there can be used to make a, another mine. And just as I say that, we have a trade ship land and the other trade ship leave and leave some more extra metal. Okay, so you've got more resources, but I am running low. Can we afford any of this? Let's just see what we can afford. Let's just chuck everything in at the moment and see if we can just fiddle that around a bit. Um, yeah, let's, there we go. That's better. Now we're at a bit more level, so that'll do nicely for now. Normally wouldn't do these sort of trades, but you know, I just want to rush quickly while we're showing off here. Right. Oh, okay. Water is low. Right. Okay. They shouldn't be drinking that much, so... Oh, well, that's a lesson for next time. We will need to do the bigger one, but only the one. But because we've got one, let's just put another small one in. That should be more than enough for now. But... Yeah. Oh, of course, it's all the plants we've put in, isn't it? That's what's taking all the water up, not the actual people drinking it. But it's okay, that's gone in pretty quick, and that'll be connected soon. And then we can put the cabin back in. But before we do, let's get a storage room in, so we can just get everything put in one place, so when trade ships like this, and uh, we don't need this one, um, when the trade ships come in, everything is close together, not all spread out. Right, okay, let's have a quick look, yeah, if we can just move that one last piece, we can get the cabin back in, or better still, I can just put it on this side, why not? So, yep, there we go. So that is everything in, I think, that we need. Right, okay, so while we're just getting them built, we can just wait. Again, it's a lot of waiting in this, just like in the base game. But there is the storage room built now. And yeah, it should start getting put into there, no problem. And there is another trade ship. They are coming in pretty fast. Maybe they've been, you know, upped the amount that turn up. But we'll just trade away a couple of these ores for a few little bits. Just a quick top up before we build the next thing we need. And I think the only thing that we're missing really once we've got the cabins built is the robot facility so we might look at that in a moment and see how that goes but yeah food is fine cabins built now so we're going to need to put in five beds not that they use them all at the same time but you might as well have enough for one each just in case they needed it so that's that in there and let's have a look now at the robot facility to repair our robots if they get damaged and build more in the future should they need to be built but yeah you know what that's that's it i think we've got everything there's nothing else i can think of that we need to really build so yeah we're done we're just sat here waiting for trade ships to come in with stuff that we need to trade and waiting for the drill bots to mine out the ore so yeah that's the challenge i know they say it was easy this one well accessible but i'm not too convinced really with this challenge it's i know it's the first one but yeah there we have it the first challenge we've basically completed it it's just a matter of time now so, right, what we'll do then is instead of just sitting around waiting, we will quickly jump over to the other challenge and see how challenging that challenge is. Okay, so here it is, Solitude. Right, we have one single engineer 
and a handful of second-hand robots bought on the black market and we are going on to the planet of Tinto now I have had a look at this and I can't find any astro bodies that have that name so, but the closest I could find was Titan that orbits Saturn so I am assuming that this is meant to be Titan not too sure how copyright works regarding space and stuff like that but that's the only conclusion I could come up with but we need to get 15 bots, 4 mines, a large storage, a starport and 2 bot repairs without losing our only colonists so let's head down to planet side and see what's in store for us shall we so we are down on the planet here there's no intro so we're just going to quickly get down the basics that we need the two wind turbines a solar panel and the battery pack and while I'm just getting these basics in, as you may be able to see just behind the information at the top there, we can see a planet and it does look like Saturn. So I am going to assume we are actually on Titan and it's just a name change. Now I don't know if Titan has any liquid on its surface, but we do seem to have some sort of liquid on here now i'm not sure if this is water or something else but we can't build on it and we can't drink it so whatever it is it's there as another obstacle but there we go we've got the basics power and water in and i have done one water this time again but that is just simply because we only have the one person on it so let's just wait for these to quickly get built and then we can start actually building the main base but there's a nice storm coming so it's actually raining now, I'm not sure if that's rain as in water or rain as in something else but whatever the liquid is on the surface it's falling from the sky and as you can see there we have three bars as well at the top the day night cycle the wind and cloud cover and while it is cloudy you can see that you cannot actually see anything and we've even got lightning but let's just get these basics finished off because we have we've only got the one person so we only need to put the bare minimum in now as you notice there are things that have been greyed off one of them was the actual biodome so we'll have to trade for food instead of growing it ourselves but what are you doing where are you going in there you got food, right? You eat. Where are you going to eat? What are your stats like, actually? Come on. Where are you? Stay still, so we can get, get. There we go. There you are, sitting on the floor. What are your stats like? No. There we go. Right. Um. Yeah, they seem fine at the moment. Um. Water's running a little bit down, but that's not a problem once you get the canteen in. So you get that built now and once you've got the service to our lane we can then get on to building but let's why we can let's get the starport in so we can start getting trade coming down now I know normally I will put a small landing pad in but as this says we need the starport we might as well get it in from the word go right now let's quickly put in everything he needs what's not much just a table a vending machine somewhere to have a drink and you know what there's not no luxuries on it so let's give him a tv i don't know what's going to be on it but the tv's there for him and we can also put in a bed so you have somewhere to sleep so that is handy 
but that looks like now why that's being built that we've got everything in we need to keep running without dying straight away so he can breathe he can drink he can eat and why this lightning let's get the lightning rod in so this oh okay i thought it just attracted the lightning for power but no it actually protects your base from lightning strikes in a similar way that the lasers used to protect your base from meteor strikes hopefully though it does a better job because we all know how many meteors have got through you've got large water but we don't need that and i haven't got enough for everything anything else so yeah you just go away right so everything is getting built fairly quickly let's see if we can get this up quickly before anything happens in the store and another trade ship coming in so what have you got Ooh, you've got metal and bioplastics that's just what I like and you've got the large wind turbine as well so that has come in handy but yeah we're just going to quickly chuck a load of these at you for the metal because we are low and then we can get on with building what we need that has everything it just needs the engineer to go and connect it and oh yes uh, i just caught it then the lightning actually hit the connector there and smashed it completely wow okay there we go so the engineer was actually in bed at the time so he's now getting that fixed so that's okay right you know what we need as well i think we're going to need something to trade away we need to get something in that we can actually trade so i think mine so we can get the ore and trade that away and in time that will build up so we can start trading for stuff we need put two in because we've got the a fair few number of drill bots and yeah loads and loads of trade ships so we don't have to worry about that but yet the lightning rods built and while it's not huge it is a significant size so yeah you've got the massive storage but i don't need that um we are running a bit low at the moment on stuff so sorry goodbye right that's the two mines built so let's see what we can put in but you know it seems like we've got everything we really need so we'll put this in now the thing with the storerooms is you would think it would be uh, that would be small medium and then a large but it's not actually that's actually classed as a medium and this is the large one so yeah we're going to just go with the large and I'll put it in just down here because i have a little plant gonna get a second airlock and if we've got it this right yes we'll put it there that way then the miners can get it into the storeroom quick from the mines and then back out quick to the traders and this trader has food and we need food don't care what it costs we are just gonna give you everything we can to get that food so, there we go is that let's try and balance it oh yeah that'll do food in so that'll be plenty of food for now and we're just waiting now on these to be built and then i can don't really see what we need to build more of but yeah we're gonna need a factory aren't we so let's get this factory down so we can build more and repair our robots that seems like a good idea but yeah the ore's coming in pretty nice and more trade ships more buildings being built hopefully the robots factory will be built soon but we've got no metal and neither do you so yeah right never mind go away because we can't afford anything we've got 
Right, that's the storeroom built now, so that's good. And no, it doesn't actually cross it off the top when you've completed it, so you're just going to need to keep your eye on and remember what it is you've built. And um, there's a second airlock now, so that's handy. So there's two airlocks in this, so it's quicker and easier for everyone to get in and out. And that second one is right near the mines, so it should be quick to get to the storeroom. Now, just waiting now for a trade ship for metal to actually finish that robot room off. But, you know what? That's it, again, we are kind of done. There's not much else to do. And I've got to say, while this has been a nice challenge in itself, it has been pretty basic. I've not struggled on it. And that's not a bad thing. It's nice and chill for these first few. What you can accept, hopefully the other ones will be more challenging and make you think a bit more. But, you know, who knows, it's given me food for thought for future series with this. It's not going to be soon, it's going to be a while away. I'm going to give it a bit of time and do a few more series before I consider coming back to this. But there's potential for another one in some capacity. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think we have finally come to the end of Planet Base for now. It's been fun. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. But in the meantime, I've been Sankey 84. This has been the wonderful Planet Base. Thank you so much for joining me. Please look after each other and goodbye.